Welcome to The Power Of. Today I'm talking about the power of why not. Is it something that you feel good about? You know it's the right thing for you? Then why not? Why not go for it and take the steps towards your big God-sized dream? Why not? Why not write the book? Why not go to the school? Why not chase that dream? You know what? If it's in your heart, then why not do it? Why not do what you need to do? Take the steps you need to take to reach your goals. There is always a million reasons why you shouldn't do something. And a lot of times, those reasons are things that we've been told by others about why we shouldn't do something. Or maybe these reasons stem from something that we believed about ourselves for a long time. You know, whether we're consciously aware of it or not, it becomes our belief system about ourselves. And often, our belief system will give us all kinds of reasons why we should not do something. But I want to challenge and encourage you today to try. Just switch these things up a little bit. Instead of thinking of all the reasons that you should not do something, all the reasons that you should not take the steps towards your goals, I challenge you, get out of your comfort zone. Press in. Take the big, bold step of action towards your goals. I challenge you to think about why not? Why not do it? Why not just try? I talked last week that sometimes all we need to do is ask ourselves, what's the worst thing that can happen? And that almost always the worst thing does not happen. Studies show that when people are lying on their deathbeds, it's not the things that they did through their lives that they regret. It's all the things that they did not do. There's a story I heard now. I'm it's probably not theologically correct, it's just a story, but it could be, of a lady getting to heaven, and she's walking around with Jesus, and she sees this room with her name on it, and she walks slowly into this room, and in this room she sees boxes and boxes, and all these boxes have her name written on it, and she's trying to think of what could possibly be in all of these boxes. So finally she gets the courage up and she asks, what's in these boxes with my name on? And Jesus says to her, these are the opportunities that I had set out before you, but you chose not to take them. So they ran unawaited. Remember, the dreams that you have inside of you, your goals, they aren't just for you. This is about more than you. Yes, your life will be changed and better and even more amazing than it already is. But it's not just about you. Maybe your kids or your grandkids or your friends or your parents, people that will be encouraged and moved by your bold step towards your goals. There is so much power in asking yourself, why not? Really? This opens up your mind to the possibilities, and it helps you to have the courage and the strength to do what you need to do to reach your goals. So I ask you, why not? Why not you be the one to reach your goals? Why not? What's stopping you? I encourage you to ask yourself that, and let that propel you towards your goals, propel you to take the steps that you need to take today to get you closer to your goals. There's so much power in asking yourself, why not? Thanks for watching. Have a great week.